Kids Church friends. I have missed you guys. We took a couple of weeks off, but we are back and ready to dive into our story today and to do an activity together. So today, just like in the weeks past, I would love for your family to do this one as a family. There's gonna be a couple of discussion questions through the video, and all you need for our lesson today is your own Bible to read the scripture after I read you the story. Today, we are going to be jumping right back into the lessons that we have been learning about Jesus's sermons and his teachings during his ministry. So today's message from Jesus is in the form of a parable. So a parable is a story that helps us understand a message or a lesson about how we're supposed to live and how we're supposed to love God better. In this parable, we are talking about talents. Now in the story, talents is another word for money. It's a type of money. But you've probably also heard the word talents to talk about um, skills or abilities that we have. And that comes from this story that we're reading today, this parable. All right, so let's jump in. We're going to read from our Spark Storybook Bible, the parable of the talents. Jesus told a story about using the gifts God gives us. A man was going on a trip. I need someone to take care of my money, he thought. He called his servants and handed each of them some talents. Take care of this money while I'm away, he said. Two of the servants went to the market. They traded their talents and made more. One servant was afraid. He dug a hole and buried his talents. The man returned and two servants handed him more than they had been given. Good job, the man said. You shall have even more. The third servant brushed the dirt from his talents. I was afraid, he said. I buried my talent. Give your talents to the others, the man said. You did not use what I gave you. I will not give you any more. Each one of us is different from the other. We all have unique ways that we are wired or that we're gifted. Some of you are athletic and you love to play sports. Some of you are musical and you play an instrument or you like to sing. Some of you might be artistic and like to paint or to draw or to create things with your hands. And some of you guys love to write, maybe poetry or stories. Some of you guys like to play with kids who are younger and are really good at taking care of them. Some of you love animals. Some of you guys like to tell jokes or even learn more about history and the world. So if we don't practice our talents, if we don't practice using our skills, or we don't use the parts of our brains that are creative or curious, then just like a muscle that needs to be exercised in order to stay strong, if we don't use those things, they don't stay strong anymore. We might forget how to use those parts of us, or we may just forget how much we love and enjoy using them. So God wants us to use our talents. One reason, number one, is so that we can glorify God, so that we can spread God's love to the world around us, uniquely the way that you were wired to do it. And number two, he wants us to use our talents so that we can enjoy this life that he gave us, right? He made us different in order to, to, to love life and to enjoy life. When we don't use our talents, when we don't tap into the parts of our personalities that God created just special for us, then we're burying our talent, just like the servant in our story buried the money that his master gave him. Okay, to wrap up our time together today, I want us to think of one more type of buried treasure, okay? Just like our talents might be buried treasure when we don't use them, other stuff that might be buried treasure could be actual stuff in our house. 
that's just sitting around. I want you to think about buried treasure that you might have in your house, okay? So this could be, maybe there's coins hiding in your couch cushions. Maybe there are shoes or clothes in your closet that don't fit you anymore. Maybe there are toys in your playroom that you don't play with anymore. Um, maybe you have extra pasta or cans in your kitchen that is more than you need. So think about buried treasure that might be in your house and where you might find it, okay? So take a minute to think. All right, you ready? When I say go, you have one minute. I want everybody to run out into your house, find some buried treasure, and bring it back here. Let's see how much buried treasure you can find and maybe who in your family can find the most. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! stuff to donate or to share. I think it would be really fun if our Loft family was able to get all of the buried treasure that we found and put it in one big pile. I would love to see how big that pile would be of all the things that we could share and donate to others. All right, dear friends, I am so grateful for each one of you and I love the ways that God has gifted you, the talents that he's given you, the ways that he has made you special to show his love to the world around us. Let's pray together in closing that God would help us to use our gifts this week. Let's pray. Generous God, you have given each of us good gifts. Thank you for trusting us to show your love to the world through the gifts you've given us. Help us to love others as you love us, to not hide our gifts, but to share them generously. Amen. Okay, friends, love you guys, miss you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.